Disappointment. Frustrating. Struggle. It, it stinks not just being super close and then having a team just beat you. So I mean, it was it was definitely a it was wrenching. <laughs> to expect I kind of just walked in and like hey you know uh, we're putting together this team um, it's a fundraiser it's for a good cause uh, if you want to join you should I was all about it. I was like yeah it sounds great man I'd love to go out there and so um yeah we did it and it was, uh, it was a good time to come into a sport where it's it almost throws everybody at an equal I mean minus the guys that are six plus feet tall with a you know three and a half foot arm you have to have Hands that uh, can just take a couple blisters on them. Uh, you gotta be able to pump the wheelchair. It's a war out there, man, you know. Wheelchairs are bumping and grinding and sweat's dripping, hands are hurting. It's tough, it's tough to move each other in the chairs. Once once everybody gets in the paint, it's like a log jam. Nobody can move. <laughs> so. I think uh, we were just close, so close, and, you know, a couple times there, and it was, you know, as fun as it was to battle it out and, and, and just great competitors, it was tough to, to go home without that trophy. We lost in the championship once, I think? Yeah, just once, and then we lost in the semis before that. And we ended up going to the Final Four and faced a team of really young kids that beat us, and then the Fought the next year after that, we did the competitive bracket, we beat them, and then we lost in the championship to that team, that team that won it. They have two guys that are 6'8", and uh, they beat us pretty good. I believe the last three years we've, we've met this team that's got the Giants on them, and yeah, it was definitely, definitely a struggle at that point. It stunk always losing to them, but it, it was, I guess it was a little easier because they were just all great guys and having just as much fun as we were. And, uh, you know, interestingly enough, it seems like they had uh, some practice, had like kind of done some practice sessions and, and had some actual plays, you know, which we certainly didn't. Um, you know, we'd shot around the gym here a little bit first, uh, you know, before most of our, our tournaments, but these guys had some plays sometimes and it was like, okay, they're pretty organized. get to the championship, your hands are all cut up, blisters, and then uh, the shots aren't going down. There's no comfortable lead, but we maintained a lead all the way through the very end. And we thought for sure we were gonna win it. We had, there was like eight seconds to go. One more season, you know, we're this close. This is the closest we've ever been to win. And then their best player comes down the court and just throws this one-handed three-pointer like it was nothing. And it just was a swish. And I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, man, it was heartbreaking. They're like, no, 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 we need to win this. We, we put in the work. Somehow we ended up with a chance at, at the last shot. So Alex, you know, he was, he was holding the ball. We felt probably the best with him holding it. Oh, well, what was an inbound play from the sideline. I think they passed it to Brian Alejandro who started driving in and then he passed it back to me at about the foul line right around the elbow. I was going in for kind of like rebound position but didn't need it. And I shot it with a couple seconds left and it went in. As time expired and then we went crazy. <laughs> just, it was it's just slow-mo. Everything happened in slow-mo and then when that bucket went down, everybody knew it. Everybody knew it, it was just like amazing. So great. I remember seeing that shot go down, time expiring, and I shot out of my chair. And I think I ran across the gym to you know the first guy I could find to just high five and hug. We actually did it, and it was just pure excitement. You know, we we were all just I think we were all amazed that we actually won because this team is I mean they were the juggernaut in this this whole tournament, so it was great. Most of us have played in organized sports and we all kind of agreed that it was one of our biggest achievements. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been so excited about something so like... I wasn't involved in Crouch Mountain, I was working in manufacturing. And so to have that feel 
now that I'm actually working with clients in that similar field, it, it hit me a little bit harder in the heart, which is really what it was all about. I, I probably would have appreciated it, but not not as much, you know, because now I really have a feel of what I'm doing and what Grand Estate Independent Living is all about. So definitely, definitely quite an achievement.